ladies and welcome to the end of another week. I hope it's been a happy one for you. While the week was going on, I was thinking, what would I like to share with you ladies this week? And I decided that it was how to clean your makeup brushes and maintain them. Yours are for personal use, but um, we as makeup artists, we have to have them hygienically clean as we work between clients. So um, we have a very special method of cleaning them. And it starts off, um, I use this old Tupperware that I bought from my dear friend years ago, about 30 years ago. Her name is Claudia, and um, I bought them from her, this from her, and it's got a little notched edge to it, which will help to get into the bristle of the brush and, and clean out the dirt and grime, especially if it's like a foundation brush. So what I do next is, um, we don't use shampoo because shampoo just makes the bristles soft. So we actually use detergent. So there we put some detergent into the um, container and a little bit of water. And we start to rub into those notches and getting the bristles to clear and clean and get rid of all the grime and foundation and oil or whatever it is that product eyeliner, well this isn't an eyeliner brush, but whatever products in the brush, rinsing and scrubbing and just being really gentle with them because they cost you money. Okay, that's what we do. And then we rinse. Now when we rinse, we rinse them upside down. Reason being that we don't want to get any hot water or soap near the, the glue of the actual brush. We don't want to destroy the integrity of the brush. So we rub the brush, um, rinse the brush under the water. I actually hold it on the edge like that, making sure that I'm getting into the brush. And when you think that you have sufficiently rinsed, you dry. Now when you are drying, you're going to rub to see if there is anything left on the brush. So you're squeezing out water, like that, and then you are rinsing, uh, rubbing to check if, there's any, if the bristles are clean. Which mine is, I'm happy about that. Okay, now what we do is we sanitize. Now here in the ACT, Australian Capital, Australian Capital Territory, we are told by the health inspectors that we must use 70% alcohol and not pure alcohol. So we buy it in a bottle, 70% alcohol. And the reason being that if you use 100% alcohol, it's going to dry before it's had a chance to kill the bacteria. So they like you to use 70% alcohol because it then ha stays in on the utensil or the brush a little bit longer in the bristles. So you just get your brush in there, make sure all the bristles are submerged and you give it a good soaking. Okay, and then I like to go back onto a white cloth and you squeeze it out, squeezing it out. You can air it a little bit like that, brush the brushes, let them get some air on them. And then this is the most important part for maintaining your brush and that is squeeze it back into shape. So you take your brush, you squeeze and you roll. You take your brush and you squeeze and you roll. And that gets the shape of the brush back. Okay, now that we've done that, we hang it out to dry. If you're lucky enough that it's a magnetic one, you hang it upside down to dry. If it's not, you put it on the edge of your table and you let it dry that way, okay? And um, sometimes if I'm in a hurry, I actually put them in the sun to dry, depending on what's happening. But there you go. Have some fun this weekend, cleaning your brushes. <laughs>